I am Uatu, the Watcher. In the Marvel Universe, there is a character called the Watcher who, as the name suggests, watches. His real name is Uatu, and he watches everything, not only in the world, but in the entire universe. Which, when you think about it, is pretty messed up. I mean, he's basically a universal peeping Tom, which is kind of perverted in a way. But putting that aside, he can see everything and has been doing this for thousands, if not millions of years, and he knows more about the universe than anyone else. How much exactly he knows and how exactly he watches the universe is not known. Whether it is technology or his own power, it's not made clear, but he does possess great power on his own and he seems to not age, which makes him one of the oldest and most powerful beings in the universe. After all, knowledge is power. I have so little respect for those who do not know their place. You do not know the power you abuse. And you do not seem to know how to be silent. And he knows everyone in the Marvel Universe's secrets, such as the fact that Wolverine once accidentally murdered his own children as he did not know that they were his children. And although he watches everything that happens in the universe, he has a strict rule to never intervene no matter the consequences. Even if people die or entire civilizations die out, he does not get involved. He is also the only one of his kind as the rest of his species have all died. But how did they all die? Well, before I go any further, I must point out that there are different versions of every character, though The Watchers is pretty much the same in every comic, TV series and movie. But even so, this video is based specifically on the Silver Surfer animated TV series. Originally, there was a whole race of Watchers numbering in the millions, and they had the same rule as the Watcher. They watch and they take down all the events and information of the universe, but they never intervene, no matter the stakes. This was until they saw a plague infect thousands of planets and the food supplies on all of the worlds infected was destroyed, leaving trillions to starve to death. Because of this, the Watchers were finally moved and decided to break their code this one time and intervene. Using all the biological data that they had ever gathered, they engineered a cure to the plague and saved not millions, not billions, but trillions of lives. And this may have been a deciding moment in their species history, as they may have decided to share their knowledge for the greater good. Unfortunately, fate had other plans. The cure they had manufactured was unstable and gave birth to a new plague that infected the entire species of the Watchers and transformed them into green blob creatures that were seemingly mindless. The most primitive of life forms, here on a world of the highest technology. Could it be responsible for the wreckage all around? What if it were to destroy the very data that could bring me back to Shalabal? The only one immune to the plague was Uatu, making him the last of his race, and that is how his species died out. Why Uatu is immune to the infection seems to be because the virus only affects the selfish. If you want knowledge only for personal gain, it infects you and transforms you. But if you want it purely to help out other people, it does not affect you. How come everybody turned into a viral except Drax and me? I believe it was because, with the exception of the two of you, everyone had a selfish reason for being at the Universal Library. The original Watchers too were selfish. They wanted the knowledge for its own sake, not as a tool to be used. And that attitude triggered the virus. It is worth saying that although the green blob creatures seem mindless, they actually retained their minds when they transformed and became linked together into a hive mind. All the virals are one? You are united in a community mind? How has this come to be? Although others cannot perceive it, to become a viral is not to devolve to mindlessness, but to move up to the knowledge of all things. So technically Uatu is not the last Watcher as his race live on in a different form, but he is the last true Watcher. And the reason he continues to watch the universe is to provide his brethren with new knowledge to absorb. This also explains why the Watcher never gets involved, because it was actually Uatu who convinced the others of his race to produce the cure in the first place. Meaning, in a way, he was directly responsible for the destruction of his entire species. Watcher, your shame remains unrevealed. No one knows it was you who created the virals by convincing your people to act. Which is why I continue to bring them new knowledge. It is a responsibility I cannot deny. 
so he learned in the hardest way possible not to get involved. That being said, since he is unaffected by the plague, he must want to use this knowledge to help others, as it only leaves the unselfish unchanged. Which may explain why Uatu does break his oath in the most dire of circumstances, as he does want to help people, but is scared of causing even greater damage in the long run. I have watched you, Victor Von Doom. I know what you are planning, and it cannot be allowed. Humanity is at an important crossroads. The future of your species is at stake. So today, I have broken my Watcher's vow to never interfere with the course of humanity. I am here to stop you! Personally, I think this is quite justified, as getting involved can have vastly unintended consequences. But what do you think? Do you think the Watcher should share his knowledge with everyone else? Or that he may only make things worse by interfering? And do you think that he is responsible for his species destruction? Be sure to let us know in the comments and feel free to subscribe, share, like and comment. I am the Watcher. It is my task to note all events of significance in this part of the cosmos. Only to note them and never interfere. This task brings me great joy.